Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. S sit down. You're out of you're out of line and an embarrassment. Hey, S sit down. Don't play this. Next shooting is right now, and you are doing nothing. No, he needs to get his ass out of here. This isn't the place to talk to us over. This is totally predictable. When you, sir, you're out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Please leave this auditorium. I can't believe you're a sick son of a bitch that would come to a deal like this to make a political issue. It's on assholes like you. Why don't you get out of here? We continue to watch Governor Abbott's press conference here live in Uvalde, but just to give you some context of what just unfolded, emotions obviously running high. As Governor Abbott was talking about the sequence of the events, and you just saw Democratic gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke uh, calling out the governor, um, almost heckling there them, are, and we'll listen back into the governor members. as he releases some new details about members. yesterday's massacre there in Uvalde. Their family members whose hearts are broken. There's no words that anybody shouting can come up here and do anything to heal those broken hearts. We all, every Texan, every American has a responsibility where we need to focus not on ourselves and our agendas. We need to focus on the healing and hope that we can provide to those who have suffered unconscionable damage to their lives and loss of life. We need all Texans to, in this one moment in time, put aside personal agendas, think of somebody other than ourselves, think about the people who were hurt, and help those who have been hurt. And this time, Lieutenant Governor will speak. I was just about to say that um, there will be plenty of time to discuss and analyze what happened yesterday and do everything that we can within our power to hopefully prevent it from happening again. But now is a time people watching around the world in this country, in this state, to focus on these families, as the governor just said. Right now, we need to put our arms around the families of these victims, the students and the teachers. This is not a partisan issue. This is not a political issue. This is an unimaginable moment that will impact the lives of those who lost their children and those who survived, the adults and the teachers, the men and women of law enforcement who were there. We are better than this as a country. We are better than this. These, these types of crimes when you see children killed go to the very core of all of us who have children or grandchildren. We can't imagine the pain that these families are going through. We saw it four years ago in Santa Fe. So can we not be a nation that can stand together for at least a day or a week or a month? My gosh. To put these families first and everything else second? My gosh. You know, we, we, we live in a time, I said this yesterday, when people are at each other's throats everywhere we turn, whether it's on the internet or an Oscar stage or two coaches arguing or in the political world or the media world. Who are we? As an American people, who are we? 
We all have to do our part. All do our part to make us a better people and a better nation. Evil will always walk among us. And in times like this, I've seen it. The governor has seen it. The speaker has seen it. The senators have seen it. The attorney general has seen it. In these other shootings, Sutherland Springs, El Paso, Odessa, Santa Fe, it's God that brings a community together. It's God that heals a community. It's God that heals a shattered and broken heart. And if we don't turn back as a nation to understanding what we were founded upon and what we were taught by our parents and what we believe in, then these situations will only get worse and happen more often. So no matter what your thoughts are today, pray for these families, pray for this community. Uh, give us wisdom. Give us wisdom. But right now, let's focus on the families. They deserve that. They need our love. They need our prayers. Thank you, Governor.